Hello, 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 welcome back. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while, but um, it's because I've been, you know, doing other things, trying to get ready. So, <clears throat> I'm a. This is just the intro. I'm gonna sit down right now and just explain to you guys what's going on and what's happening. Because, um, big news. So, um, Jessica's at, with her mom downtown, I think. And Melly's with me. She's watching, like, her little shows and stuff, so. <sighs> yeah. Alright, here we go. Okay, guys. So, if you can't tell by the title of this video, um, you know. Um, for about most of my life, or, like, when I was in seventh grade, I was like, you know, I want to go to the Navy and this and that and all this stuff. And then, um, you know, I've, I've kind of just been putting it off because other things have been getting in the way. But, um, I'm finally going to go. Um, I've been through like three recruiters because the process has been like so long. So it's been like three years at least of talking to recruiters. But finally we got all my paperwork and stuff. Um, you know, it was a little bit more delayed. Uh, because they need some high school stuff, and then um, I got married to Jessica, and then Melly was born, and all that stuff. So we're just waiting on paperwork the whole time. Uh, but as of right now, it is uh, June something. I think it's like June third. Hold on, let me check. Sorry, guys. It's June fourth. It's Saturday. Um, so the last time I met with the recruiter, it was on Wednesday, okay? And um, he gave me like a, a login link or whatever to the, the PyCat, which is like a um, a practice ASVAB test. Uh, I haven't got the results back yet. Um, he said I passed because I got through all of the, there's 10 sections. If you do good on the first five sections, then you it'll, it'll let you into the, the second five sections. But, um, I mean, I, I was like, I don't like, it was, it was like challenging, like, cause on the, on the computer, if you get an answer right, the next one's harder. So it's like a, but if you get the first question wrong, then the next one's easier. Like, you know, it's like, it goes up and down. So I don't really know, but, um, you know, right now it's Saturday. Um, I talked to him on Wednesday. It was just a practice test. I'm supposed to take the real ASVAB on Monday and go to MAPS on two, on Monday evening, whatever, stay overnight. So I'm like really anxious and nervous. He, he has all the paperwork. Um, I have to do like a, a little packet and so I have to fill out a little packet for um, a background check because of the job I want. Um, I think that's going to help him later. Or the Navy later. But... I last talked to him on Wednesday, took the practice test yesterday on Friday. I have to fill out the packet by Monday because on Monday I'm taking the real ASVAB and, um, in the morning. And then the Monday night I'm going to go to MEPS um, and then stay overnight and uh, yeah, and just do the whole shebang. But I mean the job I'm shooting for, um, when I first walked in I told him that I want to be um, a CTI and I still want to be a CTI, I still want to be an interpreter. But he was like, you know, you should have, like, in case you don't get it, you should have, like, four other jobs that, you know, you're willing to do. Um, and I was like, well, I mean, like, because I've always, wanted, like, I just like learning languages. Like, like my family members, they know me and stuff. I've been doing it for, like, three years, like, by myself. Um, even though it doesn't matter, you don't have to do it for three years, you know, to get the job. Because I'll teach you everything. But I just, I've just been interested in stuff, so... Um, Hopefully I get it. I'm studying like super hard to get it. And um, I don't know. Because if I, if I go by the end of June, right, it's June 4th. If I, if I leave by the end of June, then um, they have bonuses and stuff. So that's why I want, that's why I'm trying to go before, June, before the end of June. So like I've been studying for weeks now. Jordan's been helping me with the math and stuff. Yeah, baby. Where's your screen wet? I'm gonna deal with that right now. 
Um, she like she got a spray bottle and just sprayed it on her tablet screen for some reason. But um, Jordan's been helping me with the math and stuff, and I've just been like in my ass that book, like nobody's business. So. Um, you know, I did, I took a practice as and I got to the last section, so he said that I did good, but I was like, I'm like, I'm not trying to be mean because the recruiter is like so nice and stuff, but like, you need like a 35 to pass for the Navy. And I was like, I kind of figured I was going to pass the as because it's English and I've been, not known English my whole life, but I practiced the math and stuff. Um, I still have to study like the mechanics information and all this other information, but, um. But, at, but those sections have less questions than like the math and stuff. So, you know, I'm just going to read through the sections and see what they got and stuff. So I should be good on those. But, um, yeah, I was like, I was like, like I'm not trying to be like disrespectful, but like, I kind of figured I was going to pass. But I'm trying to get the job that I want. I'm trying to score high enough for the, for the interpretation job because I need like a 160 on the ASVAB. So, and looking at all the other jobs, it only goes to like 250. So, I have to get like more than half. Like, I have to get like a 80% or something like that. But obviously, I'm trying to get 100. So, I've been studying. Um, Jordan's behind me. Thanks, Jordan. Um, on the practice as well, I felt like the English was a little bit harder than the math. Because I, I did like, I, sh I have to practice mathematics a little bit more. But the arithmetic reasoning, that was pretty easy. So. I'm halfway there. I just got to practice math a little bit more. Um, you know, the ASVAB book for the English, they give me all the root words, suffixes, prefixes, all this other stuff. Um, it helps me with the paragraph comprehension and all this other stuff. So, I just want to tell you guys, I take my official ASVAB on Monday and then I go to MEPS on Tuesday. And then depending on how fast I want to leave, how fast I want to leave, and how much they need me for the job, because the job that I want is, right now it's HP and it's high priority. So, yeah, so I have to pass the ASVAB. I have to pass the physicals and stuff, the other tests, and then I'm probably gonna have to take a D-Lab for the, for the languages, okay? And then if I get everything, I'm gonna go to um, DLI, which is the Defense Language Institute in Monterey, and I gotta be there for like a year, and I gotta pass all those tests, okay? And then when I'm done, oh, I'm sorry, no, I, <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even say boot camp. I gotta pass boot camp too. I have to the ASVAB, the tests, the D lab, boot camp, and then Monterey for a year. And then after that, I'm gonna be learning and stuff. And then I, I, I they have to do a background check, which is the packet I have to do for because um, my job is has like secret clearance or something like that. <clears throat> and then it's like when I'm done and I learn everything, I have to I have to take. I have to take the the D lab or like the language test every single year after that. I have to take it like once a year, like every year, to make sure that I, you know, I'm either learning or that I'm up to date with it. So, a lot of things that are um, I don't want to say in the way because like they're gonna help me get to where I want to be, but like I'm just doing it like one thing at a time. So I'll get there. But I just want to tell you guys, I don't know how how uh, how my videos are going to be. I don't know how, because like, I'm going to be studying a lot and just doing a bunch of other stuff. So, um, I don't know what the upload schedule is going to be if I'm going to upload. Because I haven't really been thinking about YouTube right now. I've just been thinking about passing and stuff. So, um, yeah. I mean, if you guys unsubscribe, I understand. Because I don't, I don't even know what my schedule is going to be like. So... Uh, but if you guys stay subscribed, obviously I appreciate it. But I'm just telling everybody on YouTube that watches me out. I'm going to the Navy. But yeah. If you guys have any questions or anything, um, if you guys have my number uh, or Instagram or whatever, just, I mean, you can text me on there. But like, you guys ask me questions and stuff in the comments or, you know, like the video. Um, you know, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm also confident because I've been studying, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. If it, if I don't get the job that I want, 
I know I have I know I have others that that I'd be willing to do. But truthfully, I don't really want to do any other jobs, and I think the recruiter knows that. So he texts me, and he's like, "Well, you passed because you got through all the sections." But I was like, "Did I get high enough for the job that I want?" That's the only thing I'm worried about. Because I don't really, you know, I mean, I'll be in like intelligence and stuff, but like I want to be a translator. I don't be an interpreter, even if they are on a computer 24/7. I don't care, you know. But that's the end of the video. Um, if you guys have any other questions, put them in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. I don't know how I don't know if this could be the last video for a while, but thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is.